It is just after 8am on a beautiful spring morning outside Canturk. The first group of horses are cooling down following a gallop at the yard of trainer Michael Winters. Back to back victories in the Galway hurdle with Rebel Fitz and the brilliant dual purpose mare Miss United propelled Winters to national prominence. I began my conversation with Michael and asked him what a normal day involved at his yard. Well, what we do, we start at 7 o'clock in the morning, but, you know, we'd be all different and we've a great lad here and he likes his own little space in the morning and I let him feed the horse at 7 o'clock and he said he'd see me look down the window. <laughs> it might be a bit, maybe a bit cute now, David Nicholson, not the old, old, you can kind of progress to that stage, maybe I think you're going to get out at 6 o'clock in the morning, but when we get a bit older, you're kind of trying to share the responsibility and, you know, you take a back seat this morning and you'd monitor what it is. Work. What's the benefit of doing road work with horses? I see walking them down, they go up and down the road. That was your style of training was road work and camp, galloping and camping in fields and snow and even hunting. So really the horses delivered from slow walk and we call it donkey walk. So you are a feel like a donkey, slow and lay them. Well that's the proper way to train a horse in that early career. Because it gets their mind very happy. Nowadays, when the fighters, they're the kind of memory of the world, which will bypass it like that. And maybe it can take some of the hospital. In the old days, now, the way to train was, and I like to train that way. But they, they can't figure out the dogs and the terror lights. And not to be, you see horses inside the races, and they're all going up, and they're bumming in a tree. Because if they're half asleep, you'll be honest. Maybe like some of the mothers now, they great. Uh, and if you see the television, you see all these horses and they're all and bungees on them, their heads have been down and they're lobbing, lobbing, lobbing. Well, when they go racing, they're saving all their energy. And if you want to study Moody Welsh, when he sits down, he's, he's been like a monkey, you know, he's been down there and he hardly moves in a horse. Because I've seen over the years all these horses that he's riding, they're trained that way and they save their energy. And we use the small things and then at the top of that it. And the horse quickens up and he goes his gear. And he's even smarter than the rain. It's great to stand in there for 10 minutes and maybe go down the evening. So it goes down the 10 minutes, 10 minutes of the issue with horses. And mentally as well. Lunging, Mikey Cronin, that looks a specialised. Uh... Yes, if you were, if you were, if you had the rhythm, your horse would be stopping and he'd be trotting and he'd be hunting him on and he'd be out of here and he'd be looking for the gate. Mikey Cronin, he's one of their specialists. Like that job and does a lot of, that's like too sad. And you were, that's a specialised job in the cell. Anybody thinks you can sit down and stand in the middle and crack them around to the circle. But they can be on the wrong leg and maybe some of the hustle are very free of finding that. But a slow rhythm and it builds them up from behind. If you were hustle weak behind it, then they fall on their backside. You know what I mean? If you say they're, they're, they're like a greyhound. And the horse needs his paw to drive from behind as well as pulling from the front. But the slow circling producer lives, and it might be one example of all here. He might spend 20 minutes lobbing left and lobbing right, and the horse is on. What happens to him after a while? It gets not easy for him because he's standing and he can be thinking some tears, but he has, he has the move with the horse leads with the left leg, and he's going left handed, and he's up, his hind left leg is in order, his front leg. So that's his balance, like a car going around the wind, he's able to, and the same going the other direction. So it's right to tell him, and he knows his job doing it. And you know, we really appreciate him because the river fits down on all those young horses. With the room, he made a great job of him. This is racing country for miles around. The dedicated team look after every horse with great attention. It is striking how meticulous this small but select team engage with every single horse. It is all about the health and well-being of the animal. During all the hard work, there is also time to look after his much-loved goats with a nearby neighbour and owner who was visiting from London town. If you're in a hurry, 
Jo, to har så stor med dig, Henning Jackie. Han er blevet lavet som til jump. Han er blevet lavet som hast. Han er blevet lavet som hast jumping. De Jackie lukkede, men hvis hun lavede sig hende, så viste de alle selv. Det tog de kopi, som vi ville tørre der. Han er blevet lavet som hende, som vi ville tørre der. Han er blevet lavet som hende, som vi ville tørre der. Han er blevet lavet som hende, som vi ville tørre der. Så det nu skulle ud i probably better than the jockeys having to ride them. And the jockeys then will ride them for the last two schools and they can go racing down there, they will be for racing out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say new school is fantastic. The only thing about it is not to do too much. You could do, you could end up doing top tier jumps there without the lazy. So you won't hit there, you'll do seven or eight rounds each way and go both ways. And you come away and your house doesn't sit up. You've got out to the track now somewhere and get a schooling hall somewhere and Get it really far in between it because they're able to put in the shop jump and they're jumping and they're going past there. They're like, oh, I'm too far back and they put in the shop and they step it. And they try their feet confident and they'll have to take them on. They stand back and they'll have a foot and they'll enjoy it. And they'll always do see the competitiveness there in the horses. One horse will be years back and they say, get out of my way and go and put it. And they turn around and it makes life very easy for the lad riding after. History traces the birth of steeplechasing back to nearby Butterfant and Donnerail, where the first recorded race took place in 1752. Following a day in the company of Michael Winters, it is obvious that the great traditions of training horses are very much alive in North Cork.